earth, wind, and fire. Remove the last one and you get Tesla. We're not like other automakers. We set the trends and they follow. Some did it right, some did it wrong, and some did it terribly. But we always managed to be miles ahead, given the right amount of charging stations. I mean, sure, we're not perfect. Our paint jobs come pre-weathered, our body gaps belong under a birthing gown, and the interiors could use a few more buttons and a lot less rattling. But we turn combustion engines into a thing of the past, even though our founder sounds like he's misfiring most of the time. This is already our, our, our under we have a die-hard fan base. And let's be honest, it's all because of Elon. The dude makes rocket ships and flamethrowers on the side. Like, come on! Although the fan base can be stupid at times, like crowdfunding a couch for a billionaire when he slept in his multi-million dollar factory. When we introduced Autopilot, we didn't think people would use it wrong, but they did. Like you shouldn't fall asleep or watch shows, and you definitely shouldn't record adult films with it. By the way, stop jumping our cars. They're not made by SpaceX. They're not the Falcon 9. Falcon 1, maybe. We always have something super cool to announce, like the Tesla Roadster, which isn't out yet, and the Cybertruck, which again, isn't out yet. We're still trying to fix the bulletproof glass. Oh my God. But we did cut half of the steering wheel off to keep things fresh. That's something. You can't go wrong with a Tesla. It can dance, turn into a game, and just like a cat, it'll always land on its feet. And when parked next to each other, they can spell out Tesla. Brought to you by the real-life Iron Man. By the way, stop LS swapping Teslas. Looking at you, Rich.